Good morning, welcome to Greenwood Bonsai Studio today and I'm going to do a demonstration for you today on this Japanese black pine. It's quite an old tree, it's about 40 years old. It was owned by a customer of ours in his collection and it's ready for a bit of restoration work and just a bit of styling just to take it on to the next level. It's just been potted into like a plastic training pot, been in there for quite a few years, definitely ready for a bit of a bit of work on the branches and to restyle this tree. It's got a nice base, very aged bark to it, quite compact branches. I'm not sure if it's been up against a fence or something. It is a little bit weak on this side from a branch point of view. So I'm just going to talk away through it. I'm going to shape and style it for you and, uh, and, and enhance it. So we'll get a little piece of wire and so I can mark the front of the tree for you. Now, there's a few options with this tree regarding the front. I'm going to come round and show you. So, one of the hardest things with bonsai is finding the front of the tree. Um, there's a few options here. This has got a big root on this side, one on this side. This trunk has got a bit of movement, curving round like this. Then a gentle wiggle up here to the top. Bit of wire scar in here, look, from previous wires and then this top section is more juvenile and and a little bit more flexible so immediately looking at this tree there's potentially a couple of options and one of them is to have a front maybe in here so that's just mark a piece of wire here and we could have a front in here can you see we've got a nice left hand branch here this one will work well to the back to give us some depth these branches are all okay here. The top's not too bad, but what we are lacking, this isn't a very strong branch at the moment, visually, um, for this right-hand side, and we've got nothing down here. So this was one of my um, a potential front for this tree, one suggestion, um, but it's a bit lacking on this side. The other fronts, which I think might work better, is to have a front in here. So again, if we mark that, somewhere in here at this midpoint. We've got a strong branch here on the right hand side. We've got, uh, we've got a branch out the back to give us depth and perspective. This one's quite good and it's flexible so we should be able to get this down into here to follow this down. This one is a bit weak as we said before but somehow it doesn't look quite so bad from this side. If we wide this like this and then in here if we could bring this branch down here I think, with all things considered, this is probably going to be a better front of the tree. There's not a lot in it. I think you could go either way. But this is going to look more sensible with better branches to both sides. Whereas this is going to be a lot on the left and not so much on the right hand side. Now obviously, a front of a tree like this is subjective uh, to individuals, different stylists or different hobbyists. You know, often when I'm styling trees like this and we sort of, I'm working to a front, it's natural I get a few comments of people saying, oh, well, I like the other side of it and that sort of thing, because we've all got differing views. But also, it's difficult to judge it off a photograph or even off a video. Sometimes when you're here with the tree in real life, the tree will give you a sense as to where the front of the tree is. And I'm getting the vibe, the sense with this tree that we're gonna that a front in here would be more suitable. Now, with the front in here, we are going to need to bring this branch down into here, this one into here, try and bring the top forward like this, this one into here, and then this one here is a bit awkward, but we need to bring this down into this side. The movement of the trunk like this is okay, but I think it would look a little bit nicer if we perhaps tilted it over a little bit more like that rather than have it more like this. So the idea is to have a front in here, tilt it a little bit like that, and we'll see if we can trim it, wire it, shape it for you today, and get it into a bonsai pot also. It's middle of November here in the UK. We have a small window of opportunity to repot evergreens like this from the middle of October through to the middle of November. It's getting towards the end of that, per that period now. So I'm still gonna repot this today. There's no risk in doing that. Uh, we might just shelter it from some of the weather afterwards. It's gonna be a little bit chilly here next week. 
but we're still going to repot it and just put it under a little bit of shelter. And to be quite honest, I think we'll probably be putting it into a larger pot than this one that it's in. So we're not taking off a lot of root and disturbing roots too much. It's going to actually be potted on. So that's the time frame we're working on. It shouldn't take us too long to get this tree into shape. So first job with it, pop it back on the turntable, back round here. And first job, it's been outside and it's got uh, a few branches have fallen on it. A few, uh, a few leaves branching off other trees. So it's got a few uh, old pine needles on it. It's got a few maple leaves on it, birch leaves on it. So the first thing is to work your way through the foliage, just taking out old brown needles, bits of leaf and twigs off other trees and trying to get it into some sort of organized tree. Take off a few of these little shoots. These old needles can just be removed at this time of year. Tidy up any dead stubs. Take off little bits of growth that we're not going to need so that we can get the branches a bit more organized. Something like this in here. This one in here. That's all nice and tidied up. There's a few little stubs there I want to come off. This one here is okay. This next one here has just died off, look, so that can come off. And then these here, I'm just going to take out these really strong shoots. This one here, got loads of buds at the tip, but none further back. I'm just going to shorten that heaviness off. And then some of these older needles, we can just remove from these. They pull out quite easily by hand. A few of these just here. So if we get this lowest branch sorted and we'll show you what we're working with. A little dead section in here. Just use a concave pruner, take that section there off and here and a stub just there towards the So once we've done that little procedure you see on that low branch now, this is all neatened and tidied up. Old needles removed, stubs taken off. We can see what we've got to work with. So I'm gonna just go through the tree and get it to this sort of standard. That's, that's the next procedure. So working our way up to these others. And again, just going in, taking off this old stuff. This is died off. There's a little stub in here. Another one here, and these are quite thin. I'm not gonna to want to gin any of these or anything. They're not gonna to add to the design. So they can come off like that. Dead stuff in here, once taken off. Just work away up the tree. Just a bit hanging down there, that's died off. Dead stuff in here. Now this is a bit of a, strange branch. Do you remember me saying, I said before this branch was a bit weird. Can you see in here, there's that one that's quite good, strong, and there's this one here that's quite weak. But this one's coming up and over and crossing over. Now, I need to get that down there to the front. But as I bring that down, look, it's gonna straddle the top of this one, go over it. So what we need to do, if we're gonna keep this one, is to shorten that other one back. So let me come around here and get into it there, look. And that's gonna come off there, which is gonna allow this one to be moved and rotated forward a lot easier. A few dead stubs in here need to come off. Another section in here. Up to the top of the tree, there's a branch here that's dead. And I think these have just died off over time. It's in a small pot. It's ready for repotting. A lot of the growth hasn't been trimmed back on it too much. So it's just, uh, you've got a tree here that's in, in, uh, in need of repotting and fresh compost and a bit of TLC. So what it's doing, the tree's deciding which branches it wants to keep and which it wants to lose. And what we want, we want to decide that now, ideally, we don't want it to lose any, but if it is going to lose any, 
You know, we want it to, us to decide which ones it's keeping. And at the moment, the tree's just doing, just doing what it likes. Some of these that are growing up too much, we can prune back. This a little bit too long and heavy. This one here also. This one here at the top. This section's too, too chunky here. Always coming back to a finer piece of growth. See here, I've got one, two, three little shoots. One here, one there, and one there, and the other fingers. And then this section is twice as thick and heavy and clunky. So that bit there with all the vigor and heaviness, I'm gonna take that off. We can do the same with some of these lower down branches as well. So a little bit in here, a bit of removal of some of that growth. So that's gone through and given it a little bit of a, a little bit of a tidy up. Still a few little dead stubs here, want neating in it up to some extent. This little bit in here. And you should just start to see it take shape. It should look a little bit cleaner. And then once we've got all this off, we can, we can set to work wiring the tree. And that's when we should really start to get some, some better shape into it. Once we can wire and manipulate some of the branches. I'm just trimming off stuff that's growing too strongly upward and heavy shoots that we're not going to need. It's quite easy to just get in there and thin some of those out. Still shaking out these birch leaves up from where it's been, been growing underneath some more mature trees in the, gar in, the, in the garden here. So I'm just going to go through it now, just do a final run through, taking off some needles and then we'll come back in a minute and we'll show you what it looks like at that point. Okay, so we've finished taking the old needles off this tree. You can see the structure of it a little bit more and you can see the branches a little bit better. Next thing is to start to wire it. So we're gonna start, get this low branch wired up to this one here. So we're gonna probably, on this one, we don't need to move this front, this first section here, but we need some manipulation from here along. So we'll use a bit of sort of four mil wire. I'm going to wire these two branches together. So we're going to start, we'll start with this wire just here, like this. And then this section here is going to come up and along this branch here. Let's get another, another turn in there. And then it's going to come round. This one's a bit awkward and keep moving this out of the way. Look, wire through it like this and then like this. Like this along this main thickest branch we're going to come along to here and when we get to this section this wire gets a bit hard to bend you can just use some pliers or wire cutters to help you manipulate that wire over and snip it off like that and then this this other piece of wire this other end of wire is going to come up and around the trunk like this about a 45 degree angle around again and it's going to come up and it's going to do a similar job on this next branch up so this one's going to come along here it's going to do this back section of this secondary second uh, branch around like this just work your way through move the foliage out of the way as you're coming through like this careful not to trap the needles that's why taking those needles off to start with was quite beneficial because it leaves you a bit of a clearer route through and again when this starts to narrow this branch we're going to finish that just there that little section here can neaten up and we've gone along that main branch to here and now it's thinner here we'll do we'll use some thinner wire on that so that's that both those branches wired with one piece of wire then we'll go down to these. We'll use something a little bit thinner for those. And we'll go, we'll wire that forward section there. And we'll bring this wire round and do this one here that keeps getting in our way because it's crossing over. So try and get this wired. 
with a tree like this, the next job really is getting this wire on the tree. Once this wire's on, then we'll have the enjoyment of actually moving and positioning these branches, which is when we're actually creating a bonsai really. It's the most uh, creative part of the, of the process. So just gonna carry on wiring this like this and then we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut while I do the rest of the wiring because once you've seen me wire one branch you don't really you don't really need to see me wire the other ten or so. But we've got the main branch wired here, these secondary ones done, like so. And then we can just keep pairing these off, just working down to thinner and thinner wire, like here. We can come in here. Follow that first wire look, nice and neat like this. And then this one's gonna come up and around. And it's gonna do this shoot here. And this piece of wire is gonna come along. And again, it's gonna come along to the end of here, like that, and it's gonna finish like this. And then a bit more of that. We're gonna put a section on here. This, this right hand bit's gonna do this. And then this is gonna come round and do that other one. So it takes a bit of time getting used to wiring, but the more you do, the easier it gets. Just using a bit of sort of two mil aluminium wire, nice and uh, nice and easy, just to get these branches wired prior to shaping. A little bit there, snip this off. And down to a bit of one and a half mil wire for this little piece here and we can tag that along with this wire we finished that heavier section there so this thinner piece can come along through like this and this will come along take a few of those old needles off that we missed don't trap them against the branch so that's that wired so I've got this one done, this one done, this one done. We'll leave that little one there for now. This one here wants doing. So that's quite uh, that's quite thin. So this can just be done. We can just tag a piece of one mil onto here, one and a half mil onto here, look. Run it along there, like this. Onto here, like that. So that's done. This one's done to here. We need some on this tip just here. And then round here, bit of two mil wire. And we'll go this one here, bring it round onto this front twig just here. And again, try and move that through like so here. Bring this one back round. That's gonna do this section just here. Which just leaves this one. And there's this one in here, a bit of one and a half mil. Step the wire down as we get into these thinner, finer, more delicate branches. And don't worry too much about where they're going at the moment, just get some wire on them. And then once the wire's on, we can shape and position them, get them where they need to, need to be. Trim that one off here. Trim these little ends off like that, like that. And then we've got a couple more sections. One here. And then this is gonna come, this heavy wire stopped here. This finer one's gonna come past it, through to the end. And then this is gonna come up and just do that. Pick up that little, that little twig there just so we can get that into shape while we're here. Trim off any excess. Then we've got a tiny little sprout here, look, just sitting there. And so that doesn't uh, doesn't get excluded. We can just uh, tag a piece of wire onto there. Come round here, round like this. Just pop a little bit of wire along there, look. To get that into shape. So that's nearly all those shoots. Then we left one that unwired on that back section. But all this front section, that's now all wired. It's just that little 
those little bits there I want taken off and that little shoe there. So let me come round here to the front. Now that's wired, I'll just show you what we can do. So the front of the tree's in here. This is just gonna come down like this. And then this is gonna just sit. We can just manipulate these, bring this in here, just to create a foldage pad, like so. We can front these up like that. Bring this into here. This section is gonna come around here. Bring it into here. Shorten some of these long needles back, just trim the tips of that one there. Just manipulate this. We have a look from the front. Now these needles that are hanging down, they want to be removed. You can pinch them out or we can trim them off. Just make that look sensible. These are going down a bit too much. You see the difference it makes once we've wired and shaped that low foliage pad. So I'll take a break for a bit from filming. I'm just going to get the wire on the rest of this tree and then we'll come back and I'll manipulate the rest of the tree, show you how it takes shape before you out before your own eyes. Okay, so just had a few minutes to get some wire on this tree. We've now got it fully wired, so I thought I'd show you how to position the branches. Normally, as I'm wiring the branches, I sort of position them as I'm going to make it look more sensible, then there's less work to do at the, at the end of the styling. What I've done with this, I've tried to just get the wire on, just leave the branches a bit of a jumble as they were initially, so I can show you from scratch. So we've done this little branch here at the back, the tree was going to tilt over a little bit more like this when it's potted. So around here to the front, it's a matter of manipulating these branches. They're fairly flexible on this tree. Slowly manipulating these down to where they want to be. So bring this one down here, this one here. This wants to come round like this and front. There's some movement in it here. This one can come down, take these needles off bring this into here, tighten this up. This bit on the top, I'm just gonna sit on there to give us some height to that foliage pad like that. This one's just gonna fit in at that far end. And this one here, this has got to come forward, down into here, just rotate it a little bit and then just offer, offer the end up like that into here. And then the whole top of the tree, we were going to bring down at this point here and from here down like this and this is going to come in and wire wire up to here we'll twist this one around like this this one around here is going to drop down and into there look bring it forward a little bit and have this foldage pad sitting like that. We've got a gap height, a gap went in this side, so this was going to come down and this branch down and then rotate this section in, bring it into here. So this is going to help to visually fill that gap. This is a bit annoying going down. I'm just going to take off that little section in there and just go with these. This one, a bit of wire I can feel on that wants to come off into here like that and then this is going to fill in at the back this one's just going to drop into here and then on this uh, on this top this is going to come down into here like that this is going to come up this top's going to come over over here with this heavy wire and this one's got to come down into this section. This can come forward. This can rotate, drop into here. This one's going to come down into here, like this, forward to fill in. Just get rid of that piece of wire there. Tuck him over there. And then this piece here, that's got to go down towards the back of the tree. 
this needs to come down and forward into here. This can tuck into here. And then this section, now we've wired this and come down into here. This one like this, tuck these in here. Just to give some height on this right hand side to hide some of these bare branches. Bring this in like this. This section like so. Bring that over here and this one up into here. Just face those, those up like that. That leaves us with this section here to do. So that wants to sit just here. There's a bit of space. Twist this round into here. And the back of the tree, this one wants to come down into here. And then this is going to come up. Like so. Back round here to the front. See which bits we've missed. Just take off some of these downward growing needles. Want to bring this into here a little bit more. On this one. It's going to come round like that to fill in on this section. A few bits of foliage off here, a few needles. Now we've moved stuff around, we've got some stuff growing up and down because we've manipulated this. So some of these needles that are growing strongly down, we can just get in and remove those just to give us a bit more definition. <laughs> This one here wants to be round like this. This can drop over the top just to help to fill this foliage pad out like that. Like so. This one wants to come down into here a little bit more. Just get them where that you want them to be and then a little bit of adjustment. It's a bit difficult for me doing this because I'm I'm very I'm quite up close to the tree. Once you get to this sort of stage, it's worth uh, worth sort of standing back a little bit and taking it in, and seeing if I've seeing if I've missed any bits. So come back in here to the tree. This bit here is perhaps a bit high. This section here that wants to be down like that, so that I don't see that branch so much. And then up a bit more at the tip. Let's have a quick look. That's looking a bit more sensible. What I'm going to do now, once we've positioned the branches like that, we're going to have a look at a few pots for it. So I'm going to get it out this um, plastic training pot. We'll just comb the we'll just comb the soil out from the roots. We're going to pot it into a slightly larger pot, so we're not going to disturb the roots too much. So it's not an issue doing it all at once at this time of year. So I'm just going to take it out of this. We'll have a look, see what the roots are doing. It's uh, it's wired into this pot. It's just a little thin wire holding it in that the previous owner's put in there. So it should, with that wire cord, it should release fairly easy from that pot look. And then get rid of this wire on the surface, just here. Is that it anchored in with? There's a few wires, another one here. On here, look. Like garden wire, that is plastic coated garden wire. Get rid of that pot, pop, pop that over there. So I'm just going to comb these roots out from the base and just in quite a gritty granular soil. So it's quite easy. I'm not going to go, go mad with it. We'll just comb it out, break it up a little bit, just so we can get it into another pot. So it's been in this pot for a long time, so some fresh compost in a new pot with a bit more room and space to grow will benefit it. You can see it's quite a healthy root system, new roots in here, and this white is mycorrhiza, which is a fungus, which is good. It's a symbiotic root fungus. So it's a good sign that you've got that on a tree. Just work away round, combing out these roots with a root hook. There's a bit of a thatch a root at the bottom of this tree log. So if we can comb that out and remove this thick thatch, this is just where it's been encircling around the pots for so many years. So that's really, that really wants to go. 
so it came out. Get some scissors. Just trim that off for now. Get rid of that wire that's got the old mesh fastened to it. I'll just cut that thick thatch of root up just off the bottom of the tree. And then comb the rest of this out a little bit. Just going to tease this out, tidy up, and we'll bring a few pots in. I'll show you in a couple of different pots, okay? Okay, so we've got our tree all shaped, wired, and prepared. And it was just in this, um, this kind of plastic training pot before, which didn't really suit it, quite small. Um, we're going to try and put it into something else. We've got a few options. I've got a very high quality, uh, handmade Chinese drum pot. We could try it into that in the center of the drum like that front forward towards you that's one option for a pot we've got this one here this oval so the lesser quality pot doesn't necessarily matter but this pot here is like a like a 400 dollar pot so if we put it into that obviously it's going to have to reflect in the price of the tree when the tree goes out on the bench for sale this is a more affordable pot if we pop the tree up in there like that let you have a let you have a look at that from a star point of view then we've got this one here this one looks a little bit deep maybe this one's about as deep but it's got sort of cloud feet on it so visually they take away some of the weight of the pot like that i think of though i prefer it in this one rather than the last one that i tried it in uh, we've got another another drum pot here let's try it in this and of the ones we've tried i think that would be i think that's probably my favorite pot visually it's going to get a bit more width without going too excessively deep um it'd probably be either be this one or that flared that flared oval but i think it looks more more comfortable in this so we're going to pot it into this drum pot so that's the next thing to do so quickly we'll just uh we'll just pop the tree out of that pot for the time being just place it over there and then we'll get this pot ready for the tree so we'll wire it in with a bit of a uh, couple of bits of two mil wire and we'll, we've got a uh, central drainage hole in here and then three other wire holes just try and get this potted won't take a minute we've just had a phone call to say we've got like 1200 trees turning up in 30 minutes here at the nursery so we thought we're just towards the end of this video we'll get it finished because we're going to be uh we expect to be awfully busy in about 30 minutes time so it gives me uh puts pressure on for me to get this tree potted and then we can uh we can take delivery of these trees that we're expecting here in the uh in the run up to christmas so put that like that these holes on the side we ought to pop just a little bit of mesh over those as well stop the soil falling out like this and these two here like that just pop that over like so and then come around here to the front we need to choose the front of the pot and here we've got a gap between the feet and here we've got a gap between the feet but this gap between the feet here you can see this point of these rivets but not this one so that would annoy me that if we plant that as a center this is off center this is it does it the same there as well this is slightly better we'll go with that as a front between those feet it lines up a little bit better and we're just going to use a mixture of uh, Akadama, Kiryu and Kiyodama in this 
on this wee pot. So pop, pop some of that in the bottom of the pot. And we'll take our tree. And we've took a few roots off this, but we've not gone, we've not gone crazy sort of bare root in it. But we've just took off that mat of root that was underneath. There's still a tiny little bit of that old wire there, but it was holding, holding it in. Just noticed a little bit of that there. So tree-wise, once we've got the soil in, we can settle the tree down. Just tidy up a bit of this base. There's an old dead root just there, another one here. Some little bits there. In front of the tree, to the pot towards me, and the tree wants to be just like that. Incorporate fresh compost around the edge. And once that's in, we can work our way around just tamping it in, settling it in around that root ball. these wires this one's going to come up and across here to this one trim off any excess length and this one's going to come across this section here like so and then just pull twist the wire to tighten up get rid of any slack like that just nice and secure in that pot with it being double wired in the two wires push those ends down and then i'll work the way around with a bit more compost a bit more soil we'll just get tidied up and we'll spin it back around we can have a look move these tools out of the way So this has been a quick, uh, quick trim, three pot and restyle on a black pine. It came in from a customer's collection that we purchased and it was ready for a little bit of work. So we've trimmed it, we've took the old eels off, off the tree, we've given it a trim, we've wired it, we've positioned the branches and finally we've potted it into this beautiful handmade bonsai drum pot and uh, hope you've enjoyed this short demonstration and if you have please give us a like and if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any more updates on this tree and future projects that we're going to be bringing you here from Greenwood Bonsai Studio. Thank you very much.